Hi everybody, my name is Shannon. Welcome to my channel, Another Yarn. Thank you so much for being here today and joining me. I greatly appreciate it. If this is your first time, this one's going to be a fun one. We're going to talk about math. It's not hard math. This is, this is girl math and yarn buying. So welcome. My name is Shannon. I talk about yarn, knitting, crocheting, having fun, antics, and today it's going to be humorous and and this will be one that you can take back to your husband, significant other, whatever, wife, it doesn't matter, whatever it happens to be, the other person in your life that's like, honey, you got enough. You got, you got enough. You don't, you don't need that, but that's okay. We're going to, we're going to do this. So I was watching with my husband, actually my son brought this one up. It was a, um, a mean girl math, right? Oh my gosh. I, I, this was hilarious. So the, the husband was asking the wife and everything and said, go ahead and explain that again. And she was talking about free money. So if she buys something and pays for it in cash, it's free. And the husband was like, no, no, honey, that, that's not how that works. Said, well, yeah, because the money's already been taken out of the bank account and everything. So they're not keeping track of it in the bank account. So it's already gone. So if you're paying in cash, well, it's free. So um, for the next couple of weeks, uh, anytime my husband and I, we did anything and I'm like, hey, you got any free money on you? You got, you got any free money? You know, I, I need, I need, I need, I need some free money, right? I, it just, it's hilarious. And I'm sure people actually really do think that way. That's fine. So I thought I would apply that or actually just kind of tell you about how, how that applies to our yarn buying purchases and stuff like that. No, not taking money out, calling it cash and everything and free money. Although that is pretty freaking hilarious unless you're on the other half of that. And then that's not so funny. So <laughs> terrible. So I got to thinking about how I buy yarn and I justify it in my head and I have my own little, uh, mental gymnastics. That's a good way to put it, right? Because uh, I have enough. I do, but that's, it doesn't stop me. So if you, if you have, I'm going to turn this thing, man, this thing's just not, it's not giving me the light. If you've seen some of my, um, little yarn shop purchases and stuff the other day, I I've recently gone to Joanne's twice. I, you know, I, I stayed away for a while. Not that I don't like them. That's not why I stayed away. I have, I have stuff, but I don't know. They got me and I needed white yarn. Was it the white yarn? Yes, I needed white yarn. Okay, if you followed, I've been doing, I'm all over the place right now. I have been doing that Arnie and Carlos Advent knit along calendar all the way up till December 24th. And I had the first one, the red, green, and white. And it was yarn that I had in stash. And I, as much yarn as I have, I don't have just the plain basic white and not really in any decent quantities. I, I really don't. And uh, I wanted to make another one. I had the sparkle blue and I had the gray, but I didn't have any more white to go with it. I needed some white. I did. I needed white. So I, I went to Joanne's to get white yarn and this was my receipt. Okay. I might've gotten a little bit more than white yarn. So Joanne says that on this day I got 28 items. I bought my bag. So 27 actual items in the bag, right? So I got 28 items. Right? Let me show you the bag. You don't remember. It's a big, huge bag. It was quite full. You know, a big, huge Christmas bag. Quite appropriate. Full of yarns. And you want to know how I justified it? Yeah, I don't need to justify it, but okay. I got two skeins of white. Out of those 28 items, two of them were white. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but everything else just jumped in my bag. It did, it did, it did, it did. Don't argue, it did. Uh, so I got a bunch of the Big Twist um, value yarn because they had it on decent sales and everything, all the different colors so I could do my Boggy Creek stuff. And then they also had um, big uh, Joanne's Big Twist winter yarn. I, I've, I've discussed that on a previ previous video. It is so odd the way that they have that marketed and branded. Completely different yarns, uh, completely different weights, completely different composition, and they're all labeled under Big Twist Winter. It doesn't make sense. So I consider uh, that bag, which you could see it's still got a lot of stuff in it and everything. Well, I can kind of show you what it has in it. I don't necessarily need to pull everything out, but it's, you know, there's my huge paper receipt. But it's got a lot of stuff in it, right? You know, I... I have taken things out. I have. I consider this a 100% very successful shopping trip because I got my white yarn. And I immediately, um, if you didn't see it, I 
used it for this, right? This is my Arnie and Carlos uh, 2023 advent calendar knit along, right? There you go. So perfect. I immediately did that. And then one of the other things that I did is with my, I did that with one skein of white. I wasn't working with both ends or anything. I didn't use all of it on there, but it's not like I knew how much I was going to use. So then on the other skein of white, I broke into it and I started a hat with not only that, I also grabbed that, like I was saying, that big twist winter, right? This one, super sparkly. It's like a unicorn. If you can find it, good luck, right? I, they don't understand them, but I immediately cast the hat on. Okay. That hole in my mind. Okay. Bear with me. This is mental gymnastics. 100% mental gymnastics. That entire shopping trip was complete. I have used my yarn. You're like, but wait, I just saw that bag. There's, there's like a lot of yarn in that bag. D don't, don't bother with the details. I, I have successfully used my yarn from that shopping trip. Yes. Yes, I have. I've gotten into two skeins of the white and I finished. Oh, look, I did. I finished this and I finished this pretty hat. And that's, you know, I, I'm pretty sure that would have just been one of the skeins of white, but I didn't split it that way. And then obviously this beautiful colorway, right? So yay me success. I can go buy more yarn. I just, yeah, yes, it's true. So then I, yes. So then, um, what was it, a few days later, something like that, my daughter's girlfriend asked if I could make her a scarf. I made my daughter a bulky weight scarf. I don't have a lot of bulky yarns. I don't typically use the bulky yarns. Um, I don't know how much I need of bulky yarns. It's kind of like me with minis. I like them. They're pretty. They're beautiful. But do I need 12 of them? I, you know, and I've just recently bought some minis. It's weird, right? Um, so I don't have a good selection to just go in my yarn stash and go grab it and, and work with that. And uh, I'm like, all right, yeah, I can do that. So I went back to Joanne's for a specific reason to get some bulky yarn. And I was successful. And that was <laughs> this trip. <laughs> and, you know, I won't pull out all the colors, but, you know, I got a bunch more of the Joanne Big Twist, right? That's what, move that thing, right? That's what that is. My receipt, it says I had 15 items this time. I did buy the bag. So, you know, 14 items of yarn, right? And this is all the big twists right here, the value yarn. But I was successful in the, um, in the sparkle yarn. I got another kind of that big twist winter, this one right here. And I bought five of these. You can see this is just about done, right? This is ball number four. I have a full one. It's down on the bottom over there. So I got that and I made the scarf. Okay, that's pretty cool. Not only did I do that, this green one I needed for the uh, the Camp Buggy Creek blanket that I'm working on right now that I'll be donating. So I've already started in this. So I got, you know, just a few colors, one each, so then I can make some really fun, bright, colorful blankets. Perfect. Okay. Well, this bag is now a successful shopping trip. I am done. Okay. This is why I have so much stash. It is. I, I know it sounds weird, but I have used the yarn from the shopping trip. Not all of it, but I have used some yarn. It is successful. I am done. I'm going to go buy more yarn. I, it's just the weirdest thing. Okay, so that's mine. I had to share that. Uh, you know, talking about that crazy mental math that we do, you know, because we need to justify. I don't need to justify, but we need to justify, right? You know, so I have these these huge, you know, wallpaper your your walls with these receipts and everything. And I'm like, I, I'm, I'm over here going, I've got to win. Out of all that stuff, I've done this is what's left. Four skeins of this. This is what's left of the one skein. I did buy three of these and I gave two to friends. So, you know, there you go. Those are gone out of there. And then this is what I have left of that first one. And then I got into the white and I got into the green. Hello. That is all kinds of successful. And, you know, oh wait, that's cool. It's not. Now, granted, there's some of it that will definitely languish on my shelf for a while, but they didn't languish. 
I bought it and immediately put it to use. Yep, I'm done. I successful. There you go. So what is the, the mental math that you do in your world? That's my girl math. <laughs> I know I had a name. I understand math. I understand finances. You know, the bills are getting paid. So don't, don't get all stressed out about that. Uh, but I just thought that was absolutely hilarious. When I saw that little video, it was like a little short with that. I, I started cracking up and I'm like, huh, do I do anything like that? No, not necessarily. Until you talk about my stash buying and my yarn buying. It's like, can't you use this? I already use the yarn. These last two shopping trips, I used the yarn. There you go. And I am even working on, I don't need any justification for it, but I'm even, as far as I'm concerned, this is not a project, but I cast on and I started swatching. This is my Arcane Fiber yarn, and I've bought online from Arcane Fibers and beautiful skeins of yarn. Okay, successful. Y you know I got 12 skeins, right? I know, but I'm successful. Look what I did. I wound it up and I cast it on. I can buy more. That's how that works. <laughs> I have successfully used the yarn. You're like, you're like, um, that's that's not that's not how that works. Yes, it is. That is how that works in my world. <laughs> I've done it. I've done it. Yay! I'm successful. I've used my yarn. <laughs> Don't bother me with the details. It's not gonna work. You're not gonna convince me anything else. That is my story. These are the mental gymnastics that I go through. It's 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 okay. <laughs> I would love to hear what are your mental, what, what is your thing? What is your mental gymnastics that does not make logical sense because it doesn't and, and you just go with it because this, I'm going to go with it. You can tell me in the comments and uh, yeah, I'll laugh at myself because I think it's funny, but <laughs> I'm not going to change. <laughs> so that's all there is to it. All right, I'm going to play with my yarn some more and justify in my own head, why I have what I have. And I'm just gonna roll around on the floor with it. I think I'm just gonna throw it on the floor and just roll around with it. It's just gonna be great. Um, you guys have a great day, night, evening, whatever it happens to be. And I will talk to you again later. Bye-bye.